Hi. Um, I usually like to have much friendlier conversations than I feel um, we've been having. So um, I really am interested to know um, what, where you're from. Um, that could be um, the root of some of our conflicts. Um, um, obviously, a different country would have different ways of bringing up children in the church, and it's language barrier, miscommunication is obvious. So, um, I would like to keep this friendly. Uh, my first point is that you accuse me of being one of the people who took Bible or took prayer out of school. But separation of church and state was very, very important to the founding fathers. We have freedom of religion because of all the persecution in Europe. And we let everybody except the Rastas um, practice freely. So that's all that really means is that we don't want the church telling the government what to do. That was extremely, extremely important, especially to Thomas Jefferson um, and all of them. They, just like politicians today have to pretend, you know, that, you know, because they want to vote for them. They did not express their atheist views um, loudly. But they were very, very scared of the church influencing the government. Therefore, um, I, if prayer was ever in school, it was already illegal. Um, I had prayer in my school because I went to a religious school. I do not see how that helped me at all, except to not learn any more science or social studies and the geography and, you know, those silly things. Um, so there's my first point. Um, my second point is I have no intention of converting kids to atheism. I think that it is completely unfair. And I cannot remember the term from law class, but when you are unable to make a contract, when um, you're drunk, um, you're senile, like when there's reasons like that, under 18 is one of them. You, that's also why we have juvie, juvenile hall. Um, children, especially if they're started out from day one, being baptized, brought up in the church, are only taught that. People tell them later about Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny, but nobody, nobody ever says, you can't even like really mention it. It's a very difficult conversation between my family and I. Um, my mom prays for me every Sunday, so it's, it's something that you are taught at a very young age when you believe everything you are told and then it gets in your brain and to this day I have I'm recovering Catholic I still have this guilt over things that I really need to not I mean people raised outside of the church don't understand but I feel guilty for everything everything's always my fault um, that is the whole point of the church is authoritarian it's it was meant before technology was around to brainwash everybody to yes it was the opiate of the masses it was a way to control people to scare people into doing what's right anyways um, don't murder um, you know there used to be a sociological need for um, monogamy so don't cheat it don't cheat, don't have adultery, because before DNA testing, before birth control, it was very important. <laughs>
to believe that an invisible person in the sky can hear all of your thoughts and if you even question him or do an array of things you're going to this really scary scary place I don't think that anybody should be exposed to religion until they are at an age where they can make their own decisions and not at an age where you ask them, your parents why the sky is blue, they could tell you because somebody threw blue Kool-Aid up there and you'd believe them, okay? It's not like we want to come into your home and take the kids away and teach them to be atheists. I'm a free thinker. I'm actually not an atheist. I don't like labels um, to begin with, but I don't know is all I know. I know that a lot of the church history, and I very much do not like it as much as I do not like what's going on now. Um, I really do live my life much like Christ did in the mythology. Um, I like to think he did exist. Um, we're probably going to have some church of Martin Luther King Jr. in 2,000 years. That's the kind of person I think Jesus was, like Martin Luther King and Gandhi. I don't think you've been acting very Christian-like. Um, Jesus was a kind, patient, loving person who said, love your God more than yourself. I'm sorry if I'm not quoting it correctly. It's been 20 years. And do unto others as you'd like them to do unto you. Um, and I can't think of a better way for our entire world to live, to have a peaceful, peaceful world. Um, you should really check in on my uh, videos, Why Religion is Evil. Um, oh gosh, um, the one about the whole Vatican wealth, why taxes should, or churches should be taxed. Um, and please, um, faith is dangerous. Um, what do you think about people in other countries raised um, Hindu? Um, I don't know, when I was a little kid, uh, they told me some craziness about if they didn't know about Jesus, then they couldn't accept him, therefore they could go to heaven or something. But you believe that the reason they believe that is because that's the way they were raised. Where is the fault in asking that you go and prove to yourself that when you go outside of the only source of knowledge about something that you're gonna find the truth still and you're gonna validate yourself I see nothing wrong with that and that is what I have a problem with is blind faith blind faith in what the government says blind faith in what it really just said I have a problem with authority when authority becomes corrupted and usually power corrupts people. Um, I'm going to leave you with my favorite quote. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, then the world will know peace. And Bob Marley was a Rasta. Um, yes, theoretically, he did believe in the same God that you do. However, he approached it in such a better way. And they actually say they don't really care what you believe or what, quote, dogma, they don't call it that, you take from them. They just want you to be a good person. Um, and I'm asking Christians to act Christian. Thank you. Oh, and please stop celebrating his birthday with the greed and the commercialism and everything he would hate. That's my message right now, okay? It's a little bit of pet peeve. Have a good one.